Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Trist ADDC, here once again, uh, part two of that Blade Ops unboxing. I just finished unboxing this thing. The, uh, Shrade Radic, a $220 American-made Shrade. Luckily for me, some issues with that, you'll have seen that unboxing, so you'll know. Luckily for me, there was another box in the box from Blade Ops, and this one comes from ZT, baby. It's been a long time since I've had a ZT on the channel, and I'm really pumped about this one. You guys have been recommending this to me endlessly, so let's bust this beauty open. This comes to me by way of Blade Ops. It is on loan. I do not own this, but uh, I'm excited about this one. The, I've only ever owned one ZT, and I've sold it. It was the uh, 0562 CF, the Hinderer design. This is an Emerson design, and this one seems more up my alley. The, the ZT 0640 Emerson. Stonewash 20 CV, baby. And, uh, you know, you guys have been yelling at me and hooting and hollering. You got, if, you, dude, you gotta try this. You gotta try the 0640. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. So here I am. I'm trying it. I do love ZT's box. It's like a origami. It's a lesson in origami. It's a nice, nice touch. Little knife and some wrapping, some paperwork in there as well. Nothing too crazy. Let's put that aside. A little, look at the little tiny, litsy bitsy little, uh, silica beads there. Nice. So the 06. Bodie, man, let's take a look. See, you guys, this is the one that everyone's like, oh, you gotta give this one a try before you give up completely on ZT. This is the one you gotta check out. This is the Zero Tolerance Emerson Design 0640, USA made, like all ZTs. Uh, and it's a nice looking knife, slim, slender, very different. A lot of ZTs are big, beastly monstrosities, you know what I mean? But I gotta tell you, as kind of slim and reasonable size as this is, it's hefty. It is a weighty boy. Titanium, shadow boxed. Uh, uh, it's a frame lock, kind of a frame lock. It's like a, it's like a bolster lock, but the bolster's covered. I don't want to call it a liner lock. It feels too chonky to be a liner lock. Maybe it is. Correct me in the comment section below. I have no idea what I'm doing. So we got two standoffs here. This nice green carbon fiber. Uh, some T6 hardware. Two body screws. One pivot screw. A very... Ooh, that clip looks like it'll be an issue. Look at this. Look how, look how flush that is to the scale. There's no room in there. It's got a good flex to it, but that's held on by three T6s, which is a lot. Some nice texturing here on the back spine of the handles, and the blade just tucks nicely in there. Looks like we have what can be used as a front flipper tab. We'll see about that. And we have a thumb disc as well. So let's flick this thing open. Oh, size comparison real quick. There's the 0640. Here's a tactile knife co rock wall. So a good bit longer, about an inch longer. And here is a spider co pair three my little stormtrooper pair three so thinner than the pair three longer than both you know it's a decent size edc nothing too crazy nothing too outrageous so let's flick this thing open nice action's great nice little snappy detent uh decent lockup real nice classic just a drop point style blade nice tall flat grind on here 20 cv on the blade steel nice little swedge up top the thumb disc works great nice knurling on the side of there feels great no jimping on the spine of the blade but we have this jimping here so just a thin kind of a toothpick knife uh a little too fat to be a gentleman's folder but in the zt lineup you know this is about as close as you're going to get to a gentleman's folder right uh tons of billboarding on the blade just <laughs> it's just a whole paragraph 0640 usa emerson designed serial number 4832 zbm 20 zv it's a little much zt you can dial that back for me that'd be great and then the zt logo here on the show side uh so in hand ergos feel it feels great nice chamfering all the way around real soft that clips so flat you don't feel that at all so that feels nice thumb lands here on the texturing on the blade spine that feels nice you can kind of choke way out here on the blade nice flat landing spot would like a little bit of jimping but whatever that feels nice a little bit of a sharpening choil no real uh uh finger choil choke up but also texturing down here on the bottom so a decent amount of grippiness it locks in the hand really well fills the hand really well too so that's nice hefty weighty interesting so action running on phosphor bronze has to be right so it's not a guillotine it well thumb flicks work great 
Nice and smooth. Reverse flicks, fine. Little detents a little. Eh, you kind of got to really want it to get the reverse flick. Ugh, you know, you got to need it. Eh, but it works. I'm sure it'll break in. This is brand new, so I'm not too concerned about it. Anything on Foster Bronze washers. Breaks in really nice over time. Disassembly at cleaning. Some uh, blue goo from OCD for EDC. You'll clean that right up. But it's nice. But can we front flip it? Uh-oh. Sure. Yeah, dude, you can totally front flip this thing. Eh, eh, eh. Kind of. Okay, yeah. A little texturing right there on that would, would go a long way. I know, I'm sure that's not the purpose of that, but it works. You can absolutely front flip it if you want it bad enough. Um, inside of the lock bar right here is a little sharp. Would like to see that knocked down or textured in some way. Because I can feel that, baby. I can feel it. But from, for a factory fresh knife on Foster Bronze washers, action's really not that bad. At all. Very reasonable. Feels nice. Lockup's good and solid. No blade play. No lock rock. Nice. Well, we ought to cut something. 20 CV, nice flat grind. Not the tallest blade in the world, but I bet you it'll cut something. ZT does a decent job with their factory yet. Let me rip a page out of the old Smoky Mountain Knife Works Christmas catalog here real quick. And we'll see if this thing uh, cuts anything. Sure enough. Sure does. ZT does a great job with their factory edges. I've never really had issues. Um, well, with the one ZT I've ever owned, but what are you going to do? Nice. Nice. Good stuff. You know? not. I can't remember how much these are. Two something? Maybe under two or right around 225. Great. Cuts great. No issues there at all. It's a nice knife. And honestly, I, right off the bat, other than the clip... I like it a lot more than I like the uh, 0562 CF. Uh, that, that knife was just too big for me. This is a good size, a good EDC option. Um, you know, and it's nice to, to have a ZT back in the house. It's been so long. Uh, it's only the second time I've ever had one on the channel. And uh, I'm not totally disappointed by it. You know, let me, let me check that pocket clip real quick. Got my jeans on here. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not, yeah, not going to oh. cut it, pal. You're going to have to lift and pull and slip, I'm sure. i got also got a ton of knives sticking out of my pocket. So not a deep carry clip. Doesn't really like to go into your jeans very well. So that's probably my biggest issue. But, uh-oh. Uh also the reverse flick. Ah, you know, it's sometimes it just... Ah, you got to want it a little too much. I'm not totally disappointed, but I do like it better than my 0562 CF. Very cool. The 0640 Emerson Design ZT made. American made. From Blade Ops, I'll leave a link for this down in the description, uh, so you can go check one out for yourself. I think this is the only version they have in stock at the moment, but uh, it's a nice knife. It's a really nice knife. Uh, I, I'm. It's nice to be kind of a little bit impressed by a ZT. It's been a long time. But that is it for me. Not the full review, just the unboxing, first impressions. There will be plenty of pictures on the Instagram. Uh, as well as Kara's Instagram, so keep an eye out there. But that is it for me. Link's in the description. Check it out for yourself. Thank you, Blade Ops, for sending this along. Love checking out new stuff. Uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? ZT, we need zero tolerance, baby. I got zero tolerance here. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.